In September 2021, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's visit to New York City garnered significant attention. However, recently released emails obtained through a FOIA request by Daily Mail. Com have revealed the meticulous planning and efforts made to ensure a positive portrayal of the couple during their visit, which was being filmed for their Netflix documentary. The emails disclose various details, such as the request for specific amenities like cushions, a new carpet, and outdoor space at PS 123 in Harlem, aligning with Meghan's aesthetic preferences. The school visit was carefully orchestrated, with input from Archul staff in selecting the school, multiple revisions of press releases to enhance their impact, and adjustments to the public schedules of school officials. The couple's team tightly controlled the press list, favoring publications friendly to Meghan while excluding British tabloids. Additionally, students and faculty at the school were required to sign consent forms that not only allowed filming, but also prohibited any discussion about the project or negative comments about the couple. Every aspect of the visit, including Meghan's attire, was meticulously managed, with her wearing a high-end cashmere coat and pants. The accompanying documentary crew was tasked with capturing archival content for potential future projects, emphasizing that the content was not intended for promotional purposes. Toya Holness, a former employee of the New York City Department of Education and part of the Sussex's PR team, spearheaded the event's planning, which began six months in advance. The visit featured Meghan reading her children's book, The Bench, to second-grade students. Email exchanges also revealed discussions about securing carpet, cushions, and decorations for the event, as well as negotiations with Meghan's publishers. The press release underwent multiple revisions to minimize its promotional tone. The visit aimed to position the couple as global influencers, evident through their speeches on vaccine equity at the United Nations and their appearance at the Global Citizen Festival in Central Park all while being continuously followed by a camera crew for their Netflix documentary series, Harry Meghan. The emails further exposed strict control over media access, with select publications favored over others, such as Vogue, due to the couple's connection to Oprah Winfrey. Although the visit appeared glamorous and high-profile, these emails shed light on the extensive planning and control implemented to shape Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's image as global influencers. The -the behind-the-scenes efforts highlight the lengths to which some public figures go to mold their public image in the media spotlight. Remember to subscribe to British Royal Daily Update's YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell. This way you will be notified when we drop a video. Stay safe.